Hi and welcome back to my channel, The City of Starlight. For today's video I wanted to share with you some historical novels I enjoy reading. So last month I did a bookmas series for the 12 days of Christmas and one of the first videos I did sadly lost a bit of its sound in the first part of the video. And one of my viewers asked a little bit more about my historical novels because that part was cut out of the video. So I thought why not share my whole historical book collection with you guys and what I enjoy about these novels. So maybe your first disclaimer novels are by Philippa Gregory. She is my favorite historical novel author and the reason I like this genre so much. She is also the reason that I got into history a lot more than I used to. And first and foremost, I want to talk to you about my top three novels that she wrote and I enjoyed reading. So these are in no particular order, but the first one I wanted to talk about, this book is the first one I read by Philippa Gregory. This one is in Dutch, the only one of all of my novels, because I was still very young when I first read it. And I got to this novel because the movie The Other Bullying Girl has come out. So after watching that movie, I wanted to enjoy more by this author. This one is about a Jewish girl who has a gift of sight so she can see glimpses of the future but she doesn't have any control over it. And the whole story is set in a period where Bloody Mary is Queen of England and the main character is brought to court as the court fool because secretly is also being used as a court seer. At the moment in time she also meets the half-sister of Bloody Mary, Queen Elizabeth or at that time Princess Elizabeth. And we see the chemistry between the three females, so the main character Hannah, Bloody Mary and Elizabeth. So it was a perfect start for this new author for me. Secondly, I want to talk about The Other Queen. This one is about Mary, Queen of Scots. At that time the two queens were competing for the throne of England because Mary, Queen of Scots and Elizabeth had a claim to her throne. And it was very nice to read this book, especially because I enjoyed the TV series Rain a lot. So TV series is about Mary Queen of Scots during her period in France and Scotland and this book actually picks up where the series ends. So the series doesn't have anything to do with the book but this is a perfect completion of the series in my opinion and I liked both the series and the book very much. And the third one of my top three is Three Sisters, Three Queens. So this one follows Catherine of Aragon, Margaret and Mary of France. So these three sisters and sister-in-law compete for three kingdoms, namely France, England and Scotland. And it was very nice to see how these sisters competed with each other. So apart from these three books, I still have two other books I read by Philippa Gregory that I did enjoy but didn't enjoy as much. So the first one is The Virgin's Lover. So this one is about Queen Elizabeth when she was still in love with Robert Dudley and the complications that gave because he was still married to his wife. Amy at the moment. So this one I enjoyed as well but because I saw the TV series Rain before I read this book the relationship between Amy Dudley, Robert Dudley and the Queen was already very good portrayed in the TV series so I did enjoy the book but I should have read it before I watched the series. And the last book I read by Philippa Gregory is The White Princess. So this one actually follows the novel The White Queen. So there are also two mini-series about these two books. So first of all you have the series about The White Queen, so the prequel for this one. It's a combination of novels. It's White Queen, The Red Queen and The Kingmaker's Daughter. So there are three books combined and then it's followed by this book, The White Princess. And recently there's been a sequel to the TV series. So again, I think 10 episodes, but I'm not sure about that, about The White Princess. I did read this book and at the moment I enjoyed it, but I don't really remember a lot of it. So I think I should reread it or maybe watch the TV series again. And then I also have two books I haven't read before. So they're still on my TBR list and I'll read them very soon. So the first one is The Kingmaker's Daughter, so it's one of the three books I mentioned that was part of the first TV series The White Queen. So this one is about Anne and Isabel Neville, the two daughters of the Kingmaker at the moment, and this one is situated during the War of the Roses. So I think I will enjoy this book, but I will have to wait a little while longer because I did recently rewatch the series about the White Queen, so I'm a bit too familiar with the story at the moment, but I will read this soon. And lastly, I have a new addition to this collection 
very recently. I bought this at a book fair a few months ago and it's The Last Tudor. So this one is set at the end of the Tudor reign. I don't really know a lot about this novel but I thought I wanted to read the end of this series and it follows the Grey Sisters so I think I will enjoy this book because I don't really know a lot about the Grey Sisters so the story will be completely new for me. Okay, that was it for this short video. I hope you liked my historical book collection. If you have any recommendations for me on a similar genre or author, please leave the comments down below and I will be sure to check them out. I really love reading historical fiction, but I tend to gravitate to the same author a lot. So maybe if you guys have some recommendations, I will find some new authors to enjoy. If you have other suggestions for new videos for me, you can also leave a comment down below. And you can also follow me on my blog or my Instagram feed. Links are in the description as always. And I will see you in my next video.